So we're wrapping things up with a drink, or we're slowing things down here with a drink. And this drink is a drink that is famous in northern parts of Nigeria as Fura de Nunu. Fura de Nunu originally means millet and milk, but it's some sort of fermented yogurt. Consistency isn't exactly as the yogurt that we know, but you're going to find out all that you need to know about Fura de Nunu. So enjoy. And in case you've not explored it, maybe it's something you should put on your bucket list. You don't need to go to the northern part of Nigeria, even in the southern part of Nigeria. Some people have started to make a business out of Fura de Nunu. So taste it and let me know what you think. To those who can hardly afford a balanced diet meal due to funds, you may be interested to know that experts have established the fact that the famous northern food, Fura de Nunu, contains complete balanced diet ingredients and the meal is practicable, affordable by everyone. Though it is called grounded millet balls or milk in English, an attempt to call it is by its English name while searching for it in the city of Kanu may turn out to be a rigorous ultimate search. But call its real name Fura de Nono and you see it readily available in every nook and cranny of the city. Fura de Nono business is a well-known trade and major source of income for Fulani women for centuries and it is one of the most cherished local drinks in northern Nigeria. However, despite its popularity, a unique feature People truly consume it just for fun, but hardly pay attention to its health benefits. And you often hear people talking about the cow milk also, saying that Fulani people hardly feed coal or hardly catch coal. Do you know why they don't catch coal? It's because of the regular cow milk they take. That's why they don't catch coal or feed coal. Besides its nutritional value, the food is also considered to be one of the most lucrative trades and affordable to those who are interested in the business with little capital. Ajaya Hawa started the business about 10 years ago with millet grains of just two measuring bowls, also known as mudu. And today, she has a success story to share. I have been doing this business for a long time. I can't remember the exact year, but I have been doing it for a long time. Sometimes we do sell markets and sometimes we don't sell. I sell for her at the rate of 2,200 naira, 2,300 naira, and when it's expensive, it goes up for 2,500 naira. Customers do patronize the business a lot. I have been doing this business for over 20 years. I do sell at 2,000 naira. 1,500 naira, 1,000 naira, or 800 naira, depending on the time. Fura gives blood and makes one healthy and gives good body structure. Some of the people interviewed in the city also bear their minds on the reason for patronizing Fura de Nono. To some, it is affordable, relieves hunger, and nutritive. Fura has great health benefits. It sometimes serves as a sleeping medicine to some. Some people can't sleep at night unless they take Fura. <laughs> a basin for Fura is sold for about 9,000 Naira. The profit is not bad. I've moved forward through this business. Before in a day, I sell only one bag. But now, I sell as much as three and a half bags of Fura and people still ask for it. Speaking on its core values, a nutritionist with the Home Economics Department Federal College of Education, Kanu, considers Fura de Nono a balanced diet delicacy, saying that it contains basic classes of food nutrients and is good for pregnant women. As you know, the Fura is highly nutritious and, and no doctor would advise you not to take the Fura because it's nutritious and natural. And if you notice, the Fulani people hardly fall sick because of the fura they always take because it neutralizes their system and makes them healthy and strong. And it's also advisable that one should find time and always take the fura because it really helps in keeping the body in keeping the body fresh and healthy. If you always take the fura, you can't fall sick easily because it helps in boosting the body system. However, considering the numerous features of this highly unique ground millet ball and milk, it is expected that the government should make use of employment benefits of the product to make it more viable for tourist attractions, making it an exportable commodity in return complement the government's diversification project towards strengthening the Nigerian economy. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.